When you see a coyote, think smart. Long Island, New York, the United States, the Earth. Lawn, strip mall, post office, dive bar. I was fresh at Harvard, undeclared. Go on. This is Active Listening, a new dramatist's podcast that invites the resident playwrights to experiment with story, intimacy, and immediacy through sound experiences. This initiative was born of the questions that became urgent as our pandemic lockdowns began. What are the alternatives to gathering together in rooms? What might a play for the ear sound like? Each episode is written and recorded by a different resident playwright. This episode features work by Lucas Beche, who writes, I feel like I'm always writing about the grift as of late. That and a displacement of memory, my own sense of time mangled. Arson seemed like the appropriate locus for this investigation. This is Pilot Light by Lucas Beche. Pilot Light by Lucas Beche. It takes five minutes for a two story to be fully submerged. Combustibles decay, rooms thieved of air. A neighborhood watches. You come to. <gasps> you sit on the curb of a residential intersection. You eat a wet tortilla folded over, wrapped in aluminum foil, American cheese melted down between bleachy paper flower bleach. How did I? Huh. You spell the word <laughs> with the nose of your shoe. The crumble of concrete beds itself in the rubber. You came to 30 minutes ago in a stack of fresh lawn clippings, snack in hand, head sore, wondering how and why and when and where. And also, what's that smell? Smells like gas. You have a comb, you stroke your hair back. You have stubble, you press your finger to it. You roll up a sleeve words on the wrist someone scratched in ballpoint the gift that keeps on giving you pilot a hand to your pocket a pack of pre-rolls you decide for yourself that this is the moment for inspirational music there's a faint memory of political genius were you a figure of power were you destitute? Were you decrepit? You probably had a nice family, a dog, owned property, had friends. You tried to work backwards. Lawn, strip mall, post office, dive bar. It doesn't make sense. But you've made yourself Promethean. Stealing, gifting, gasoline hands. You're a glutton for ember. You flick a burning stogie into a live muffler, a whip of fire, nothing else. You equip yourself with loneliness, a familiar pursuit. You mark yourself rich. You abandon your search for memory. You're a man made up of boring man things and boring man parts. And maybe amnesia is just an excuse to resist apology. You apologize for a moment. Go on. Oh, there it is. The house. It's on fire. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about this one? What would you do if your kid, your child... I don't have a kid. What if they had a problem? 
Like a real problem. Like maiming animals. What kinds of animals? Birds, small mammals. What kinds of maiming? <laughs> Nothing easy. Maybe boxes? Suffocating? Uh, I'd probably hide it or take them to a specialist. <laughs> I'd like to meet that specialist. Hey, you smell that? Ma said she's going to file bankrupt. she tell you? she tell you that? About time. About time, my ass. I was supposed to take over. Me, my ass. Landlady's son doesn't bode well as successor. Family business. <laughs> business calls for acumen. I just feel like there's a fucking ceiling on my growth or some shit. Like, I'm trying to get big. Get metal, man. Bro, you're like 40 pounds wet. What the hell are you talking about? It's not size. I'm not... People respect me. I'm serious, though. Do you smell that? What if I burnt the complex down? Hired somebody to do it. We'd collect insurance. I'd cut it 50 Are you psychotic? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just, uh... Pass me another can. You're a sociopath. Unhinged. Unhinged would mean punishment. Crush her somehow. Get a vasectomy. Strip her of her grandbabies. Petty ass motherfucker. She'd probably be happy about that, you know. Yeah, she'd probably be happy about that, you know. Ma always said I could have been president. Ma said you look like a fucking chipmunk. Ma said she's gonna sell the building. Move to the tropics. Join a band of these internet friends who like to... I don't know. They might be squandering cash. What do you mean? Are you serious? Like she's off to go join some, some, some cult? That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? What I'm saying is I am the maintenance king. Lord of the light bulb. The utility bill, electrical fire. You here to fix our sink? Bitch, I am the sink. Now give me your rent. Shh. Shut up. Is that a... That guy out there, is that guy lighting? Is that guy dowsing the... Dude, out there, man, can you even... What the fuck? Out there, look. A Scrivener breaks bread with the night. I watch from my fourth floor office. A person dawdles at the strip mall. The day noodles forward and out the window I see person procures a kerosene tank. I think on our legal decay, environmental decay, a charred planet, climate displacement, a housing crisis, bifurcated politics. I live in a law firm hellhole. Absorb language, flaunt language, taunt the language back at me. My mouth, a tennis racket. There is a distinct cruelty to this room. It's ovular and dank. Metal tread plate floors. My shoe. I walk to the break room. There's a stovetop ready to reheat my lunch cube. Burgeoning, sweet little invasive thoughts. Roll the printer paper to a cone. Dip it in just the tip. Dunk the wick in a waste basket. Light the end and we're all Christmas dinner. Buddy? Is that you, buddy? I hate this man. Buddy kid? Buddy girl? Hogging up that kitchen space? What you doing out here, buddy? Hungry for a little snack attack? Taking your little breaky break? Hey, you hear about this weekend? Shareholders host a little get together. Gonna come by, hog up on some BBQ, some horn cob, some cannoli. Junior clerk Bucky loves to mainline a cannoli. <laughs> you alright, buddy? I regret slamming myself into this place. Is it my shirt collar? Sorry, it's a bit soaked. Been gnawing on it for weeks. I'm disgusting, aren't I? I regret having just burnt my coffee. But this weekend, I'll see you there, huh? What menace. Sounds good, huh? Well, I'll leave you. I return to my swivel and window. View edit history. 11.30 a.m., 
spying on a gnat, my left knee, spinning, drunk, hungover, 11.32 a.m., stomach growls, 11.34 a.m., stomach growls, and then I remember how much I've got in my checking account, 11.37 a.m., checking account after I quit my job as court scrivener, tonight, I'll go out, too late, to celebrate the big quit, the big bye-bye. I wasn't a very good typist anyways. My hands couldn't move so fast. And yet, I'll probably show up tomorrow anyhow. 12.45 p.m. I ate lunch. 12.51 p.m. I think someone's gone through my browser history. You've got mail. What's this? Mystery address. <gasps> An invitation to the guild. Join the cult. Come now. Pledge, a trial program for those seeking fire. Here's your initiation. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Move to trash. Huh. The gift that keeps on giving. I make a note on the inside of my wrist. I search out my fourth story. There is no man. No kerosene tank. I press my face on the window and there isn't even a pane of glass. I fall, but not at the order of the physics. It's like I'm a delicate sleeve of paper. I spar with the wind. I'm mixed up with a local ash fall. The air quality. Pained. I slither on down to strip mall. A pouch of fat, collected at the ass, it cushions my fall. I'm a parking spot now. I'm handicapped. I'm in my office typing gibberish, so as to make them think I'm working. So as to make them think I care. <laughs> <laughs> I beeline to the break room. You just heard Pilot Light, written and sound designed by Lucas Beish. Actor one was Kurt Chang. Actor two was Stephanie May Wong. Actor three was Alexander de Vasconcelos Matos. Actor four was Lucas Beish. And actor five was Jack Dryden. Active Listening is a project of New Dramatists and is produced by Corinne Keithley Sires and Melissa Tian. More information on the series and a sonic visualization of each episode can be found by going to newdramatists.org slash active listening. New Dramatists is one of the country's leading playwright centers and a nationally recognized new play laboratory. Its mission is to provide playwrights with time, space, and resources in the company of gifted peers to create work, realize their artistic potential, and make lasting contributions to the theater. Active listening is made possible with generous support from the Venturous Theater Fund of the Tides Foundation.